a build that I finished uh, uh, probably about a month ago. Um, so I've got a little growth coming in. But this is a mobile system uh, that I've designed. And uh, it's got several components. Primarily, it's just a flood and drain system. It's got a single tank um, that pumps up with a small pump into this grow bed. Got a shelf on the outside with a little trim, a hinged lid that allows me to access uh, the fish tank. Got a couple koi in there, they're pretty big, and then some largemouth bass. Got a nice resource for those guys. And uh, this system works wonderfully. This is about, I've got some different lettuces and Swiss chard, and I've already cut them back <clears throat> four times uh, in four weeks. I did buy seedlings. Um, but this system I built to go in the garage. And uh, you can see that I've got a grow light on here. I have it by a window, so it gets some natural light as well. Um, but it's pretty cool here. It's getting down below freezing at nights. And um, probably in the low 50s, high 40s during the day. And these plants are doing great. Um, like I said, I've recently cut them all back. These sugar snap peas are growing everywhere. Swiss chard's growing really nice. Um, I'm going to go, I recently seeded in a couple of squash. Let's see how they do, even in the winter season. Um, you can see how many times I've cut up these romaine, I believe, lettuce. All of these are cuts all the way down to the base. It just keeps growing. I cut the leaves off and it keeps growing up. Um, so I've got my valve adjustment on the side here so that I can adjust the temp uh, pressure going in. And then I do warm the water a little bit with a heater. See that little tank heater? So, this is my mobile system available for purchase. Uh, it takes about three or four days for me to build, uh, but it can be purchased on my website. And this is great because you can grow indoors or outdoors. Um, if you don't want to run the light uh, in the summer, then that can be easily removed, save you a little energy cost. Um, but you can grow a good number of lettuces and everything. Um, maybe I'll update some photos on the growth with the squash. And I, I've planted a couple tomatoes in there too. We'll see if they pop up. Um, what I'd like to do is just grow those right out the side so they don't take up any of the grow bed space. Um, but they, they'll get all the nutrients they want and I'll just grow them down the side. So I'll probably have some pictures, maybe a video of that um, after those get a little have a little time to grow. Probably in a few weeks. So this is my mobile system.